morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, I'm back with very weird news about the Pokemon trading card game. And that is that somehow, in the latter half of 2024... There's a new Crown Zenith product coming. Now, shout out to Pokemon TCG Restocks and News who alerted me to this. They got the image from Terminal 5 Voltage. And the image we've got, I'm going to be honest with you, it's terrible. Horrendous image. Terrible quality. Sorry about that. But this is weird, ladies and gentlemen. This is very, very weird. A brand new Crown Zenith product launching this late in the day is something which I didn't see coming. And I'm willing to bet that you guys didn't see it coming either. To put it into context, right? Crown Zenith, it was a special set. So it, it didn't have a big release date like a regular set does. But the first lot of products were released in January 2023. So by the time this comes out, we're going to be a year and a half on from the official release of the set. And sure, finding products in stores a year and a half after a set comes out, not the weirdest thing ever. We'd expect it to be starting to wind down at this stage, but it's still not the weirdest thing ever. But a new product being released 18 months later? Yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that is actually a little bit weird. But it's happening. And this is kind of awesome. And you know what's weird? Even in amongst all the other weird stuff I'm telling you about. This isn't even the first time it's happened. Like Crown Zenith is apparently the set that won't die. Because I showed you a while ago... Back in August of last year, I showed you this new configuration of the Pokemon VMAX collection. With the pin and all of that. And we had previously had a Pikachu VMAX collection with the promos, but not this version of it. And a while ago, I showed you the Lugia and Unknown box. That was coming around in GameStop. I believe I showed this one to you. I was somewhere in the region of June last year, so a little bit earlier. And then, of course, long after the set came out, there was a Crown Zenith booster bundle that was shown off by the lovely Johnny Cran. And this one was one that I told you about. I believe this one was in November last year. So Crown Zenith products keep coming. And I think we've gotten to the point now where we're just like, okay, fine. This is apparently a thing. New Crown Zenith products are going to be released at regular intervals until the heat death of the universe. Because frankly, it just keeps happening. So the question to you, lovely ladies and gentlemen, is should you care? Well, there's a lot we don't know yet. As far as I am aware, we don't have a release date for this. We do know it is apparently going to be a Sam's Club exclusive. But as far as I'm aware, we don't have a release date for it and we don't have a price for it. Which is obviously kind of important because if we have release date and price, we can make a, a better judgment on exactly how much people care about these. So that's important. But yeah, there are several reasons why we should care. But first, let's look at exactly what it is. It is a Kyogre Rayquaza box. That's where we're going here. We are playing around with Rayquaza and we're playing around with Kyogre. So we've got a couple of different promos for each of them. In terms of Kyogre, we've obviously got Kyogre V, which was, it was a gym promo actually over in Japan, but we got it in, obviously, Crown Zenith. As a card, I really want to like it because I like the artwork. I think Kyogre's cool. I literally have a son called Archie. And I didn't call my son Archie because of the Pokemon character. But it's still a cool little thing, right? And we got free energy, 50 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. And then four energy, 210, and it can't use Aqua Typhoon next turn. It is roundly terrible. However, I do need to let you guys know that back in the day, we had a Kyogre EX, which did a very similar thing at, from Dark Explorers, 
And as well as having astonishingly good artwork, it was also a great card. Like, legitimately great card. Because back then, there were a bunch of 50 HP basics. So you could be getting double KOs here. I forgot quite how wonderful the artwork on this one is. That is a phenomenal piece of art. Good work, Shizuro. Anyway, point is, used to be great, not great anymore. The other Kyogre that we've got here is again another one from Crown Zenith with Wave Summoning. Search for a Water Energy and attach it to this Pokemon. And then 4 Energy, put 3 Energy from this Pokemon back to your hand and do 180 to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Doesn't see any play, but there is an argument here with Backscalibur because the energy going back to your hand can just be immediately reattached with Backscalibur. And then actually from there, you can just do 180 over and over. And it doesn't have to be to the active. It can be to anywhere. So I'm, I'm not saying it's good or it's seeing any play. But I absolutely am saying there is a potential here. And that makes me a little bit excited. As for the Rayquaza, there are again a couple of these that are available. Including Rayquaza V, the alternate art from Crown Zenith. Started life as a promo, but this is the alt art that we got in Crown Zenith. Nah, only joking. It's a straight reprint of the one that came around in Evolving Skies. There was an alt art that was a promo. Unfort and actually, I think it's better artwork as well. But no, just to be clear, this is a straight reprint of the one from Evolving Skies. I'm sorry for misleading you. But then we've also got... A non-V Rayquaza, or at least I think we do, that the image of this really is very difficult to actually see what's going on. The the V's are good, and the Kyogre's good. The non-EX non-V Rayquaza is all over the place here. I believe what it looks like, and I'm not 100% sure because this is old, it looks like the promo from Sword and Shield era, which is old at this point. Came out ages ago. It's like Sword and Shield promo 29. But actually, other than the amazing rare Rayquaza, which this is not, that is the most recent non-EX Rayquaza, non-V single prize that we've had. So I, I think it is that one. But that is an old promo to be getting into this set at this point. And honestly, if it is, that's a really cool reason to pick this up anyway, honestly. That's kind of awesome. But then you do get the Jumbo, which is pretty cool. I don't think we've seen the Jumbo anywhere else. I think this might actually be a brand new card, weirdly. It seems weird to get a brand new Jumbo this late in the day. But, yeah, I'm not finding it, ladies and gentlemen. Again, if I've missed this, if this did come out somewhere, let me know. I'm not finding a Jumbo Rayquaza. Not a Rayquaza V, not this one. There are some around. There is a Jumbo Rayquaza V Max doing the rounds, for instance. But I don't believe we've had a Jumbo version of this one. As always, if I'm wrong, please do let me know. So we seem to have an exclusive Jumbo. And we seem to have an old Rayquaza promo. That's not confirmed. Seriously, that the image we've got is not great. And we've got what looks to be 14 packs. Looks to be a four and a three on either side. It's not going to be the cheapest one ever because it's got 14 packs in it. But Crown Zenith is on the way out. Like, Crown Zenith has to be on the way out. And I know that it's still not that difficult to pick up. I showed you a Crown Zenith Elite Trainer Box, which was on sale in a video just the other day for 40 bucks. So I'm not saying it's some impossible to find set which is already out of print. It's not. It was 40 bucks ETB on Amazon the other day. But it can't last forever. Sooner or later, Crown Zenith is going to go away. And having a pack like this with, like I say, it's largely reprinted stuff. But I think the Jumbo is new. And that promo looks like an old Rayquaza promo. And a bunch of packs as well. Firstly, it's just cool if we're getting a bunch of Crown Zenith. Which is a set which should be going away by this point. Secondly, it's cool for the Jumbo. And thirdly, I've asked a couple of my friends. They think it's that promo Rayquaza as well. Getting that in a product at this stage is weird, but really kind of cool. If anybody's wondering, incidentally, the Rayquaza originally came around in Rebel Clash. Three-pack blisters. 
And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that most of you probably aren't seeing Rebel Clash free pack blisters just kind of sitting, chilling in your local game store. If you are, might I suggest picking them up? Because I've had a look around and I'm not finding these particularly easy to get hold of right now. They are um quite expensive. So there we go. Weird product, but I think I've told you everything you need to know about it at this point. So now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me if you want more Crown Zenith in your life. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. And remember, if you see this on sale, this is going to be a bargain. And this is the kind of product that does tend to go on sale. Not promising that will happen this time. Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel, like the lovely Matt DS, who's been a supporter of ours for a while now and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.